that seems exactly what I would call this acceleration. This so what accelerates is your consciousness being aware of more of itself, right? Yes. So Through actually doing less physically at certain times. So there's an acceleration of consciousness being That's aware the of more we're speaking itself. Of, yes, right? totally. Yeah. Absolutely. We're not speaking about you know doing twenty things instead of ten things in a day. <clears throat> and yeah. well, and you have a, a certain dynamic, like a personality style or a type. That's one that, of them, yeah. No, to totally. I mean, but so that could look like living a physically dynamic, active mm -hmm. life. ADD? Yeah, well, <laughs> rock climbing, being, you know, rock yes. climbing, running around, having fun, mm -hmm. um, climbing the sides of buildings and playing pool and all that. Exactly. Um, and yeah, so I just, to me, it seems like some could easily be like, oh, you're espousing that lifestyle. Right. And to me, it seems you're so not doing right. that. Excellent. Perfect. And we could leave it at that. I want to just make the addition that, well, first of all, I have many different personalities. So some of them are very, very active and fast, like you see me teach today, probably. High information, high octane, no pausing, no stopping, constant stream of information. Boom. That's one of them. There's many personalities I am embodying and I can embody whichever one resonates the most in a moment. Sometimes they're very completely zero and infinite and nothing's happening physically. So, and anything in between these two. So there's that remark, like, and that will probably, most probably become more part of your experience as well. As you expand your consciousness, you become less tied to one personality mode of default. You become less of a personality. You become more of an infinite space that can choose the jacket that it serves best in that moment. For the purpose of this talk, this serves me the best. How do I know? Because it naturally happened as part of my flow, as part of my excitement, as part of my ecstasy. This naturally occurred in this way. Therefore, this is serving this meeting best for some reason. I don't question that. That feels good. Therefore, it's true. But sometimes it feels true to just be completely... Uh, <laughs> like a monk. I hate that you bring that up. <laughs> But your identity kind of like a monk, right? But your identity is not stuck in that yes. as the way of being. Like I'm tearing up almost in the sense this is like this is freedom. I don't want right. to be stuck in having to be Ryan who runs this integral center building. I don't want right. to have to be stuck in the Ryan who does such and such. Like right. I want to be dynamic. Then other times I want to appear to do nothing and, exactly. and while doing everything. Thank you. Yes. Like I right. want that fucking freedom. Yes, and, and you that can feels have it. So good. totally. Yours. That's that's the real that's just the confirmation of Excellent. Yay. Excellent. I want yeah, I could go on. Nice. Yeah, and the other beautiful, thank you for sharing yourself with all of us. So one of the other additions I wanted to make is that if I compare my life to the past, even when I was already like spiritually awake, um there were periods where very little happened in terms of productivity or expansion or expression. And I can say in retrospect that overall, as time goes by, now this is not to judge your state of expansion or acceleration by what you get done, not at all. However, as you continue gradually over time, you are more available, right? to your life because you're less like in your bubble of depression and seeking enlightenment and all this. So you're not as stagnant. You're actually open to life because you recognize the unity of it all, the indestructibility of yourself, the immortality of your consciousness, the playfulness of existence and creation. You recognize your intuitive impulses that much better, your alignment, what aligns. And so as you no longer need your spiritual time as much anymore, as you no longer need to be quiet as much anymore and seek enlightenment or seek something out of this personal distracted bubble of lack. When that, once that's broken open, I can say confidently that my life has sped up on all levels, including the physical manifestation of productivity, of creation, of being available to life, of doing more things in each day than I would have otherwise just sort of sitting and seeking for myself. So yes and no, absolutely acceleration can look like slowing down and for many people it does and has to look like that sometimes totally you slow down one portion of your mind so that you can open up to a different type of consciousness right that's very valid very beautiful and i still do that naturally that still naturally happens as sort of a movement back and forth however also you become more available to your expression itself ultimately 
ideally. You also become more available to life. And so you're less stagnant, you're less rejecting of the opportunities that come to you and of the things that excite you as term, in terms of physical expression. And so it may also overall, over a period of time, if you look back, look more like your life has become more dynamic because it is a natural reflection of acceleration. And if we're talking about civilizations that are well beyond our own, things happen 10 times as fast, 100 times as fast, everything speeds up. Why? Because this is a natural byproduct of acceleration. Things speed up. Everything speeds up because there's no more reason to take a long time to process something, which is not a judgment at all. If you take a long time to process something because that's what feels honoring of you, perfect. I'm just sharing a glimpse of the future where things happen, doo -doo -doo, everything is obvious. There is telepathic communication between all parties of our species. Things happen, things are conceptually transmitted, things get done quickly, etc. That just because it's a natural progression. If you imagine no depression whatsoever, everyone being awake and alive and energetic and recognizing that everything is enlightenment. Therefore, every opportunity that excites you is another opportunity to deepen and expand in your enlightenment. You don't have to distract yourself into silence to do that. Everything is silence and everything is alive. Imagine a whole civilization never ever depressed, never ever at the victimization of lack beliefs again. You can imagine how it's much less of this. No, oh, yeah, I kind of get what you're saying. Let me ponder on that for a couple of weeks. And it's much more like, yeah, of course, duh, obviously, life is life, I am free, I'm immortal, everything is aliveness, everything is enlightenment. Why would I hide myself in a bubble, in a cave of depression to seek enlightenment when it's all around me, when it's everything that is? And so everything speeds up as a natural part of that, but not with sacrificing the consciousness of it, right? So sometimes when we fall into haste, we just become jittery and unconscious and blah, blah, blah. And then when we slow down and just eat our sandwich and we do some conscious walking and sort of monk stuff, you know, <laughs> then we slow down our physical minds so that we can reconnect to our non-physical self, our more expanded state of consciousness, which is more receptive to all things stable and free and expensive. But more and more, these two are no longer separated. And so you can be really consciously settled in to doing all these things and multitasking. Of course, everything has a balance. You have, for this time being, a physical body that has to catch up, that has to progress, that has to rewire its brain and its cellular structure, and it's doing that all the time, and especially in this transformational age. And especially as you keep expanding, it keeps doing that. So there is some degree of you know, limitation in terms of multitasking and all that, and sometimes it may feel more honoring to just slow down. Absolutely honor that. No judgment of that whatsoever. And the more you keep honoring that, the more you become aware of the union of experiences and awareness. You start moving more because there is no need for slowing down because slowing down is an illusion. You are, the faster you move, the more you are still in that sense as well. They're the same thing. <laughs>